Hello, my name is Alexandra. I'm about to show you a maths activity. We usually be doing this activity with our preschoolers. We are going to focus on matching numerals and quantity correctly. I wrote my numbers on uh, loose parts, but you can also use plain paper. Uh, I'm also going to use um, loose parts for the object that we're going to put underneath the numbers. I have pine cones and scissors. If you don't have those, don't worry. You can use a uh, play-doh or salty play-doh as we showed in a previous uh, video. Cars, leaves and flowers. Obviously, you can find easily those uh, from your garden or from the park. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how we're going to use the how we're going to do the activity. So you can start by calling out the numbers one, two, three, four, five. Then you give uh, the chance to your child to count the numbers, and then you say which number is this one. Let's say the child answers one. You say how many objects do we need for number one? One. Then we move into number two. Which number is this one? The child will, might say number two. So you count one, two. You can also, as I said, use flowers or whatever you can find easily. So let's say you can ask which number is this one? Three. How many objects do we need? One, two, three. Then again for number four. One, two, three, four. Don't forget to always praise the child. And then we're moving to the last one, which is number five. I'm going to use some scissors and let the child choose from the uh, variety of the results that you have. One, two, three, four, five. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully you'll find it helpful. And before you go, I would like to give you some extra tips. You should always praise your child for the hard work and the hard effort. You need to wait until your child is give you, will give you the answer. And also if the child is struggling to count, you can always demonstrate how we can count. So that was it. See you soon. Stay safe and bye bye.